This John told him flint nap, and I had a friend of mine, Dan Collins, come by the other day and spent two days with me, had a great time uh, flint napping. He brought me a bunch of solid slabs in the vacuoli. There's a lot of cracks in them, and uh, I heat treated it for him. And we're going to do a little video on how thin of a slab. These are all made for pressure flaking that you can, uh, percussion. And this one has, I don't know if you see it or not, it definitely has a crack going here and one going this way. But I think these are okay because I'm not a continuous platform running at hell. But we're going to do percussion work. Work. I'm trying to get the hiccups, excuse me. <laughs> now I haven't had the hiccups in a long, long time. But anyway, I'm going to work on this side. And I hope these cracks hold up on it. Yeah, that was one of them there. I was expecting that, so just bear with me. Now let's go back this way. See what we can do. All right, I'm gonna turn this edge up this way now to do the other saw. I got a lot of the saw marks removed, or the flat, slick surface, how you want to call it. I'll turn it over and show you. I got a lot of it removed on that series of percussion blows I made, like I'm doing right now. And what I'm doing now, I'm just turning the edge back this way now i can work on this side i worked on this side i'm trying to get some con convexity built up that's the most important thing for place to run smoother when you got a flat surface like this especially when it's a sea and this side's not i see another crack developing and I hope it'll hold because it's already shaping up to be a nice little heart-shaped point. There's a good crack running right through there. You have to hit pretty easy on it. Okay, we got this side and this side working, and we got convection on both sides. So now I'm gonna pressure plug some isolated platform. Let me get my pad up here. <coughs> we'll make one right here, right at the base of this. Once again, as I've said so many times, I'm using this hollow bopper. It is so light, it's unbelievable. Uh, I have uh, talked about making them on my videos, one of the videos, but the best place to go is uh, E D B O, Ed Bo. Eddie Main, Flint Napping has uh, under E D B O has a. One video just on making these boppers. This is the guy that come up with the idea. I'm gonna try to run these flakes now at least halfway across this thing. I'm putting a pencil mark here, and like I say, I'm taking my time, and uh, I just, it's hard for me to go this slow. <laughs> it really is. That, that got some of the pencil mark. Just what I wanted it to do. Now, I've got to isolate in another platform. I'm going to skip down there a little way. I'm going to skip past where that percussion bulb faded out. Or plate scar, not percussion bulb. But the pattern, when it goes out like a cone fracture. <clears throat> I 
Okay, the fracture off this thing, it went right through there like that. So I'm skipping way down here. That's where I hit. I'm skipping like an inch down. I'm gonna try it again. And that one got some of the pencil marks you can see on it. And I'm gonna come up here and lightly tap. I'm just straightening this wavy edge up. I'm not trying to go any distance. Just trying to get it straight. All right now then, same thing. This one here went right to there. So it's going to there. I'm gonna make my platform here and go that way. The least amount of times I hit on this thing, the less likely I am to break it. The more you hit on it, you increase your odds of breaking it. So I'm gonna make every blow move as much material as possible. I only think I'm gonna isolate this thing here. So it's kinda already isolated in a way. But I'm gonna come right in here and hit. Hit right here. See what happens. Okay? That got the pencil mark right there. So I'm gonna come in center now. I got my little isolated uh, V going right here. And I got in that and that did good. Now I got my platform made all the way down here. Remember I said I'm doing a continuous platform. Now I'm gonna grind the edge. Come all the way down. Come back up here and straighten this edge. Well, it's like this edge, so I'm bringing it all up to where it's kind of straight, if you see what I'm talking about. When I say straighten the edge, that's what I mean. Now I gotta come on this side. On this side, I need these flakes to come and meet in the middle. So all of the slick part where the saw went through will be removed. So I'm gonna make a little individual platform. Come down and hit this way. I'm hitting this way because on the tip, if I'd hit that way, it might've took the tip off. And I'm gonna show you the way the flake ran. That way I make my tip real thin. The flake ran down it like that. See, I hit right there and it went down it. So now I'm gonna hit here and I'm gonna go down it. This time it come this way. We got one more shot at it. I'm just straightening the edge up now. So what happened with all of this, instead of me hitting straight across like this, I hit this way. If I hit straight across, it would have got overshot. That tip's too thin to be worried about getting overshot because I'd lost the length of my point I'm making. So now, I'm gonna go up here to this part, work my way down to the middle. You know, they say you're supposed to thin your middle to last, and there's a lot of truth to it, but if you know what you're doing, it really don't matter. I've had my middle super thin before and the end stick, but it's best to do it this way. It's a lot easier. And I and I agree to that saying. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying you can do it without without doing that, but I don't like to. I'd rather get my ends thin first. So I got my first little platform right here. I'm gonna hit. And if you noticed I've I kind of put a little more power in this flake. I'm hitting a little harder because I want to make sure. But it run past the center. This is where this flake run was right here. Now I'm going to come right through here with the flake. I don't have any convection there. I never built none up. So what I'm going to do is get convection. I'm going to pressure flake all this hump out here. There's a big crooked spot going out, so i got plenty of room to pressure flake it and not worry about messing it tight up in my shape of my point. I'm gonna keep popping on it. Now then, I built me some convection up where that pencil line is, right there. So now I'm gonna pressure flake down 
And I'm not going to go too far in it because I take my convection out if I do. I'm going to make one pass. But I'm getting a steep angle when I break down. I'm coming this way with it. I'm just taking a little sharp points off now. But now we're going to grind it and look at it. All right. Got yeah, me a steep edge right here. I'm going to hit up here and try to move all this area right here to the pencil line. I'm going to come down here and we'll hold it right here. I'm going to hit and look what happened. I don't want to drop it, but every bit of that drawing came out exactly where I want it to go. Perfect. Now, what happened when I did that, this piece left, here's where the scar come from it at. That's the whole percussion plate right there. So I don't want to hit here. I'm going to skip down here and uh, build me another platform. And this side has convexity right in here, so I don't have to build no convexity up. It's already there. I'm just pushing straight down on this side. Now, this is where that plate come off. I'm going to try to get all this out right in here, just like this, like I did on the other one. So I'm going to scoot down. Uh, that, that one fell, but I got every bit of that little bit of line right there. <coughs> I have sneezed and cough, my eyes are itching. That pollen's gotten there and it's driving me crazy. And everything wilting. We had a freeze last night. Everything had turned green and was blooming. And now I don't get any fruit. I guarantee you I lost all my pears and figs. My figs had already had a little figs on it. And it happens every year to me. My plum trees bloom and then we have a late freeze. Okay, so now what we're trying to do, and I don't think we're going to be successful at it because of this part here, but we're trying to move all this right in here. But this place I'm drawing right there heavy, I don't think we'll get it. I'm hoping we do, and we might. I see a little high spot right there. I won't grind down. Nope, we didn't. But well, that's just the exact part I was talking about. But we can get it from the other way or we can get it right here. We got 90% of it right there. All right, now I look at it. This edge is almost, this side is almost perfect, except for a couple little spots. And we're going to knock them out and then we're going to work the other side. The other side is about 80% finished. I'm doing this to make a little convexity back over the side, the side was working on. So I got a little higher, right in there. Let's see if I can get it up. All the slick stuff saw is just high. Let's see if I can work it out. And kind of flatten it so now I made about an inch of continuous platform because I don't hit too hard and try to move too much mass because this is so thin so I got a place here and a place here to move it Those two places got most of it. I got uh, a little more, I'm gonna move this way. I'd, once I got that out of the way, I noticed it's a little ridge here that's a little high. I'm gonna try to work over it. I'm gonna do about an inch of continuous platform on it. Man, that 
that work good. That worked great. Okay, I got a bad spot here. And sometimes I say I'm gonna put X here. Sometimes I say it's best to leave these bad spots alone because if I work on this side, I'm gonna shorten the, the, the width of this. When I get through, it's gonna be right about here. And when this side is that much shorter, it's gonna be able to get this out because I don't have such a long way to go. So I'm gonna come over here and work on this side. And that's gonna make it a lot easier to get that out. If I try right now, man, the hips are hard because I've got such a long way to go, I'm liable to break it. Try not to put much shock in this rock. It's so thin. It's already got three or four cracks I still see in it, but I think they're, I don't know, I call them heel cracks. I don't know. I've heard them called different things, but uh, I don't see any problem with it because the flakes went right through them. Not, not on this side, though. You'll never know. I'm gonna grind hard because I'm gonna really turn this over good. So I'm putting pressure and I'm grinding down this way to get me a good platform. Now here's what I'm looking for here. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna draw a circle just the way that the saw marks are, are running on this thing. When you get to inside of this line right here, that's the saw mark. So I got enough convexity, I hope I can get to it. All right, this one went over halfway across. That's where it went. Now I'm gonna come down right to here. That one went three quarters away across. Look at that. Now I'm going to move down to here. That one went halfway across. It didn't go three quarters, but went halfway across. And that one didn't do anything. And guess why? Because I only did about a half inch of grinding. And I thought I was still on some grinding spots, but I jumped down a little too far and it was a sharp edge and didn't have any grinding on it. So we're gonna come down through here and build some convexity up. Okay, here we go. I don't have much to go here. I got one little spot. I'm gonna fill it in. It's got the solid stuff on it. That, that's it right there. Cause this down over here, that's a, that's a, a spot where I already took the flake off. So I got this one little edge and I got to hit just right. And there we go. Wow, well, that worked good. Okay, now we gotta work on this side. And run, run these back to meet. 
we can get them to go halfway, they'll all meet. Some of them don't even go have to go halfway, but a couple of them go have to go halfway to meet. Now, I'm not worried about this base back here. I'm getting it pointed too. I don't know what type of point I'll make out of it. I can cut the leaves down and shape it basically where I want it. Okay, I want to pencil in everything we need to remove. Right there. From here to here in one little spot right there. Just a little dab. I work my way into the edge. It won't hit too deep. Get hard on this one. Get that part out. Get that part out. Now, I see something that's happening here, and I promise you it's not me, but where that other side got that little hand, this is trying to hinge here, and that's where one of those lines I can see that's a face of crack. And it's not letting the flake go through because it's the same spot. It's on an angle right in the middle there is where it's at. But it's kind of running the length of that point. That's probably why it had not snapped half in two yet. It's running like this way. You can see how it's curved. So I'm going to curve. If you look here, it made the hinge go this way. So I'm going to hit it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pressure flake just a little bit of this part out right here. Just in case I miss, I will hit there. I'm gonna hit up a little bug where I can run it. And I'm gonna try to follow that crack. So what I'm saying, I'm gonna hit this way. And it took, it took, it took the uh, step fracture out. There's the step fracture right there on that color spot with the pencil took it out. Now all I gotta do is come across on the tip. Remove this. And the tip's all done. I'm gonna make sure everything's out of here. Oh, right, we got everything. Now I'm gonna come back and try to smooth this out. And just light tap that way. Light tap that way. That's good. All right, Woo this is going to be the challenge. That baby's deep right in there. I got a little dip, but it's not real deep. So I'm going to try to go with it right here, see what happens. And we're going to make two more attempts on this side and see what will happen. I'm going to undermine it. If you watch my videos, a lot of my videos, when I talk about a hinge or something, I'm going to hit right through here like this and right through here like this and try to leave me a little funnel right there to take that out. So I'm going to go this way with it, and that's what I mean by undermining it. That did pretty good. I'm going to set it up one more time. Move back this way, so I'll go ahead and pick this up on this end. I'm going to press the flake. I'm going to find me a smooth grinding stone that I can get into a tight place with, like this right here. I got some little low dips so I gotta have something with sharp edge. I didn't mean that smooth, I meant with a sharp edge. Go ahead and get in there. Alright, I'm gonna come this way one more time. That plate went out right there. That's where the crack is and that hinge is running right there. 
Man, this is this is the thing. It's just it's it's hard to get brave, but sometimes you just gotta choke up on your bat and take a full swing for the fence. So I'm gonna try it right here. I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna try to go straight into it. If I ever break it. So I'm gonna get it out and I got it out. That plate did just like this. Took every bit of that out. I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna go on the other side and get the rest of it out. Sometimes you gotta swing for the fit. Right there, just a little bit of baby tap would not have done the job. Wouldn't have been enough energy. I had to jump three cracks, three little hairline cracks. It caused little, little hinges your thumbnail, your fingernail could grab onto. One of them was pretty big. It was pretty deep. I could feel it with my finger. I didn't have to have my fingernail on this. Hit lightly right here. Lightly there. Lightly there. And then I'm gonna... It's not turned over enough. If I can get this out, I won't be so happy. I'm really gonna be lucky, to be honest with you. I mean, nothing wrong with it now. All of the uh, salt stuff's off. I just hate hinges. I don't like anything that's got a little skip in, in the middle of the platform. There's one right there. I'm going to press flake that one out. But i got to knock this one out. I'm afraid. If I try to press the flake it out, I'm going to lose a lot of width. I'm going to try to come across there. And I, in fact, I'm even going to mark me a spot up here to hit on. Because I know right where I want to hit. Got it out. Now let me straighten this side up. I'll pressure flake here some other time. I still can't pressure flake. I've had to hold this hand still. I'm used to doing this, but because that rotator cuff that got messed up on my left shoulder, every time I pressure flake, it hurts for two or three days. I go back to physical therapy, and it hurts so bad. I can't hardly do the physical therapy. My physical therapist says you gotta stop doing that. But he don't understand. I got to be down here doing this. If I don't make stuff like this, I don't make no money. Just like if I don't show up for physical therapy, guess what? He don't make no money off of me. I'm trying my best not to move my arm, just hold it still. But when you're putting that pressure on it, your muscles tighten up and pretty hard. And y'all want to excuse me, I got to come out of this jacket. It was ice on the ground this morning, but I bet it's still got up to at least 55 right now in the sun. Coming to that window, and it's smoking me. Whew. Man. I'm going to stand up. I won't have to, it looks like. Come on. Hey, I'm trying to get out of a straight jacket. Doing a magic show. <laughs> Houdini. Turn the fan on. 
Y'all might be able to know it. Okay, 